Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video tutorial. This will mark the start of a new section of consisting of two videos. Again, we will be dealing with the same direction canons, the central, uh, the fall chair versus rank chair variation. And in section one, we discuss we are playing um, PC plus one. And very section two, we discuss the double headed snake pawns. Now, in section three, we'll be discussing about uh, other variations, uh, variations other than the two mentioned earlier. So without further ado, let us begin. Same direction cannons, all chariot versus rank chariot. Now, <clears throat> in this board, instead of p3 plus 1, we will play our, uh, develop his left horse as a proper horse, which is okay. But again, starts his counter with r9 equals to 4. And this would be the and this will be the position of discussion for this board. Uh, instead of p3 plus 1, red will go for a very steadfast uh, approach with the riverbank chariot. Now this is usually not <coughs> usually not advised because uh, red could play more aggressively with p3 plus 1 or r2 plus, followed by r2 plus 6 major on. But never, nevertheless, this is quite commonly seen in over the board play, especially on the internet, and it's quite a favorite of many uh, beginners. So let us see this variation. Now, at this point in time, there will be two major variations that will be discussed. First would be black playing h2 plus 3 to develop both horses as proper horses, and the other one would be playing h2 plus 1 for the edge horse. So, variation A. In variation A, h2 plus 3, p7 plus 1, because uh, red had made this move, red, black would, uh, red will counter with p7 plus 1 to allow for development of his horse and also limit the development of this horse. And in this spot, black would continue with the double rank chariots. Uh, this is much, uh, with this move, black showed much vigilance and did not. Uh, let his guard down. He cannot be too, cannot jump the gun and uh, play and play uh, R4 plus 5. For example, if you play R4 plus 5, we will counter the E7 plus 9, uh, R4 plus 3, R9 equals to 7, C2 equals to 1, and C8 minus 1. R1 equals to 2. And now the cannon would be prepared to attack the black chariot, capture it, and black would have be forced to move it away, thus uh, incurring a loss in tempo. So red would have the initiative. So R1 plus 1 uh, will be played so that if red attack, there's always R1 equals to 6 to prevent the cannon over here. Red consolidates his defenses. Uh, this is a steady and sound move. C8 equals to 9 is not advocated because Red would immediately, uh, sorry, Black would immediately play the pawn rank cannon, threatening to play C2 equals to 3 or C2 equals to 7. Let's say Red protect, tries to protect the pawn and also attack the pawn with this move. Black would double down his attack on the pawn rank, offering a trade of uh, exchange of horses and with this move red was fooled at, into playing at scene R9 equals to 8 and red will now sorry black will now take the opportunity to retreat his horses to link them up and be prepared to play C5 equals to 2 later on to attack the chariot and adjust his formation black would have an easy time ahead so that is why C8 plus 9 uh, it's not a good idea, as even though Red tried to develop the chariot. Now, this is quite a co commonly seen mistake with beginners, and uh, if you know this variation, it will be very easy to exploit. So, please, because Red pushed p7 plus 1, Black will usually do likewise to allow for development of this horse. Red goes for c plus 2, the riverbank cannon, so that Black cannot play c2 plus 4. It's, it's now, Black would try to draw first blood by pushing the 
horse uh, to the riverbank. Block, protect, and now red will make a very nice move of p5 plus 1. He will not be afraid of black's c5 equals to 6. This is a predetermined tactic. And in this board, I don't know why, but black chose to retreat his horses. Uh, he, this was an attempt to seek more variations, but uh, it will be advised for black to have played h6 minus 7 instead. So, uh, before we continue, what would happen if, let's say, black made this move, black would immediately um, push the pawn forward, offering a trade off, uh, offering a trade of pawns. Now, let's say if this happened, this would be a check. Black would immediately gain back off material, uh, for example, e3 plus 5, and red would gain even more material. So, that is why uh, black cannot cannot uh, play c5 equals to 6. But uh, a6 plus 4 don't seem to be too good an idea either. Now uh, red will now link the horses up on the central file, preparing to storm the central file. Red tries, uh, black tries to attack. e7 plus 9. So that if, H, if r4 equals to 2, r9 equals to 6 would be possible. Offering a trade of chariots. If not, the horse will be lost. I want it to 2, but red, red would have already prepared well ahead. And with R4 plus 1, black would not have any good intersections to develop his chariot. And R4 equals to 6 would be, would be more than what uh, black can handle. So red would have a significant advantage, and this would be variation A. So, now to variation B. In variation B, H2 plus 1 is played, which is advocated, and uh, this would be the recommended variation for black. Now, black shows that he had adapted to the circumstances instead of playing uh, the proper horse. So let's say red tries to continue with P7 plus 1, 4 plus 5, and black would now immediately attack the central pawn because black had developed his horse as an edge horse. This is an okay strategy. Offering a trade of chariots, which red would obviously not want, otherwise, black's entire red flank will be congested. Red protects the horse. After trading material, red will now have a central cannon, and there's always the threat of a um, of a <coughs> iron ball checkmate. Uh, H1 plus 2 is immediately played, and red will usually try to play, will usually play uh, R6 plus 1. Now, it would not be a good idea for red to be greedy with R6 plus 3, because uh, black can make this very beautiful move of advancing the cannon. Red's cannon cannot capture, or this would be an immediate check. So red can only retreat. But in doing so, uh, Black would now retreat his horse for this very very brilliant move. Now Black's position is very versatile. Not only would the cannon have space to move here should R4 equals to 2 be played, there's also the possibility of H4 plus 3 to attack the cannon, protect the cannon, and also attempt a pell corner cannon attack if need be. P5 plus 1 is not a good idea either, and Black's position will be very versatile. So, red, that is why R6 plus 1 is advocated instead of R6 plus 3. And red, red will now retreat his horse, threatening the, threatening the cannon, and then play P3 plus 1 again to target the chariot. Red will play, red will make this move, and the horse again will, tar will target the Target the chariot. Check. 7 plus 5. Iron plus 3. Now at this point, although red had fewer pawns, but we can see that red had already uh, traded away both his red cannons. Black was still one cannon left, and uh, this combination is usually considered to be more agile and more 
uh, more agile that could offer more possibilities for black. So black can be very satisfied with this position and the movement of the horses in the past few rounds is quite exciting. So this would lead us to the uh, end of variation B. A short recap as black. Same direction cannons. Foul versus rank chariot. Upper horse. Riverbank chariot, the position of discussion. Variation A, H2 plus 3. P7 plus 1. Again, red cannot play the cannot play the horse to riverbank, or this would be an immediate cannon pin and black would gain material. Now, R4 plus 5 is not a good idea. Because of red being able to maneuver the cannon, threatening to move here to attack the trapped chariot. Such traps are very common in Shang-Chi opening. A6 plus 5, consolidating defense. P7 plus 1, riverbank cannon to protect, to strengthen the riverbank, and disallow C2 plus 4. Uh, black charges the horse, blocks, attacks, P5 plus 1. And in this variation, uh, H6 plus 4 was played. Instead, H6 minus 7 would be a better move. So after a few rounds, red would have the significant advantage. Variation B, sorry, H2 plus 1. We'll see this horse uh, providing much action later on. P7 plus 1. And the horse is now ready to go. So it goes to 5, trade, move, otherwise the iron bolt checkmate will be a worrisome threat. Uh, 6 plus 1. And red will now maneuver his horse nifty, retreat, attack, retreat, push, attack, attack again, forcing a trade of material. And black would have a very nice position going on. So I hope you've you like this week's uh, board an example. Uh, there are many lessons to be learned. If, for example, the nifty maneuvering of the the horse and red's uh, red's tra red trapping the black chariot uh, in one of the sub variations. Uh, if you like the work that I've been doing, please do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up for this video.